Now. What is the most valuable commodity in life? What is the one thing that you are constantly losing, even now, and you can never, ever gain more of? The answer is time. And that, folks, is why I urge you to save time and spend it wisely by using 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. And that's my K6 Scope public service announcement of the week. Anyway, today, we are going to do the last episode of Pokemon Trading Card Game, and it is kind of a relief because this is all I've recorded for about two weeks, and the masses are getting crazy, and so am I, honestly, but I had to finish this because if I don't, I'm going to go nuts because it feels like I'm not making any progress, so I kind of need this. But anyway, um, as you can see, I found Imakuni again, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, if I leave, will he still be here? Oh, it doesn't matter, there's a PC in here. So if we turn the PC on and check our card album, bam, Coliseum, 56 out of 56, Evolution, 50 out of 50, Mystery, 51 out of 51, and as it always has been since last episode, 51 out of 51 Laboratory. So basically, I dueled a shit ton of people that just give these, uh, the really easy people in the, like, whack clubs, I think, like grass clubs and shit like that. And I got the booster packs over and over again, and every time I checked my PC to see if I had more or had less, until I eventually got all of the first three booster packs done. Laboratory we already had done. Now the promotional cards. Um, as you can see, 19 out of 20. So I went around and got all those. I did the Challenge Cup, and I was going to show it, and I recorded it, but Ronald didn't even show up, and it was really, really boring. Um, apparently there's only a random chance that Ronald will show up at the Challenge Cup, so that was boring. Um... But yeah, and then I went around and traded with all the people I could, and then eventually um, the only one I had left, and this one's stupid, it's Surfing Pikachu, but the Promo 08 is the same exact Surfing Pikachu, they have the same HP and everything, so when you get that one it fills up two slots, which is just weird. These Pikachus are a little different, so yeah. Um, like yeah, the Arcanine you can trade for, the Pikachu you can trade for, a lot of the, two or three of these are trading Makuni for. And etc. Uh, etc. Et so the only card we have left to complete our album is P17, which is the Imakuni card, which you get by beating Imakuni three times. Every third time you beat in the third, the sixth, the ninth, the twelfth. You could do the math, I'm sure. So um, yeah, I did everything except that. So now we're going to get the final card from him. Um. So yeah, if I save on my diary here, you'll see, bam, 227 out of 228. So we're going to duel Imakuni for the 228th final card. Yes, you know who I am, jackass. We already dueled. Let's do it. Do -do 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 -do. Imakuni deck? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to beat Imakuni. Let's do it. Uh, Jinx, obviously. No basic Pokemon. Come on. I'm going to go for the quick win here, man. Because I've got other things to show in this episode, Imakuni. Oh man, I'm, I'm glad, I, I mean, I don't want to express how glad I am that this is the last episode, because I like this LP and I enjoyed it, and I'm having fun with the game, obviously, but it's just like, you know, there's a time when it's time to move on and lighten the load, and I'm glad that that time is now, at the same time, you know, so it's good. Alright, he sent out Drowsy, big mistake, because now you're going to get double damaged, oh, you're going to, oh, oh, you're so fucked. So fucked. Want to touch the hiney? So, right before this episode, I was watching uh, Game Grumps Sonic 06. I hadn't watched any of that yet. And, uh, yeah, so I just started watching it, and it was, yeah, I mean, I've never seen any gameplay, I think, of Sonic 06 yet. And, um, I mean, it looked, yeah, it did look pretty bad. It was pretty terrible. Um, like, the game looked good, like, really the only thing it had going for it was graphics, but everything else was just done shoddily. So, you know, what are you gonna do, right? Should be equipping Jinx here, but, meh. This Drowsy's dead if I just get one heads. There you go. So right now, pointless. But yeah, it was pretty funny. Game Grumps is always a good pick-me-up. Doot! Do 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 do. Ima Cooney is thinking. Leak slap. Ha ha. Your one try failed. Has the same animation as Fine Whip. Computer research. Uh, yeah, just double slap, I guess. I don't think this dude is psychic. 
Wow, is that three times in a row I've gotten all heads? I don't know if that happened the second time. But that's pretty cool. Slowpoke. That's the promo Slowpoke, by the way. And that was one of the ones I had the hardest time getting. Um, basically, what I did is I would uh, save right before the Challenge Cup was going to start. And then I'd go in the Challenge Cup, beat it, and if the promo wasn't the Slowpoke, then I'd redo it. Because that's that was one of the few ones that I couldn't trade to get. I had to win it from the Challenge Cup because... That's the kid that if you say no to him when he's asking for the energies, he leaves and you can't get it any other way. So that one sucked. There's also this one kid you have to trade five different cards for five separate times until he eventually um, until he eventually gives you the promo, which I think was an Arcanine or a Pikachu. I don't really remember. I'm recording this after I've done all that grinding and stuff like days ago. So Let's see. Uh, what do you know? He was getting pretty screwed with the coin. That's pretty funny, seeing as how the coin is like his favorite thing. Hold the balls, that's not good. Double colorless energy, double colorless energy. Well, let's retreat. We don't. Oh, well. I guess I'll just sit here and take it like a bitch then. Take my death like a biatch. Having seven keys. Paralysis failed, doesn't matter, I'm dead. Oh, my neck, there's something on it. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to do that. Ah, tarred nuggets. Okay, good thing Abra has no retreat cost. Gotta love that. Alright, so we resist his bitch ass, so there's... He's got no, no hope whatsoever. I'm getting kind of sick of this music, honestly. I mean, it was playing during the whole last episode, too. Whoa, 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 Alright, let's get something else going here. Um, Rick Gastly. And if I get heads, you're dead. Oh, that would have been the win, too, because he doesn't have anything else on the bench. And now he's going to get the paralysis, I'm sure. Oh, no! Okay, well, you just lost, buddy. Sorry. Too late. Game over, Ema Cooney. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna complete our album. Oh, I got a full heal anyway, so even if we would've gotten the process, doesn't matter. And my dog's barking at something. Not the first time today. Slow, bro. Doesn't matter. We won the duel with the Makuni. Question mark, exclamation point. Hey, you're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack. What? Dude, this is the third time I'm beating you. Why are you giving me booster packs? What the balls? No, I don't want this, man. Ah, god damn it. Well, that's just stupid. Okay, fine. Something must have been weird here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save, and I'm gonna try and find him again, and I will meet you guys when I do that, so... Um, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we are back. I found Imakuni again. This time he was just right in the water club right after. Um, apparently, he shows up quite a bit if you just don't use save states. Imagine that. And look at that. He's going to get the first Gachanka off on me. What the fuck, Gachanka? Um, okay, so let's kill this guy. I'm not going to pussyfoot around. He's going down. Do -do 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 -do. There's that derpy slowpoke. So today is uh, November 8th. It is 5 p.m. in case you're wondering when this is being recorded. And I'm going to record some Final Fantasy and stuff after this. Because I don't know. It just seems right, you know? It just seems necessary. No, you could have gotten two and killed the bastard. And if I would have had Meditate, I could have also killed him, but didn't have the necessary energy. Somebody was talking about a penis on a Jinx's sprite there. I mean, I yeah, it actually does really look like it, because the boobs are the balls. That's pretty funny, yeah. And the rest is the dick. That is kind of funny. Why is Jinx always the butt of so many jokes? I don't know, it's just a terrible Pokemon. Um, I guess we should start working on somebody else here, because What's-His-Face is about to die... Jinxy poo. I uh, might get lucky here and get double heads. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, what the hell is on my arm? Oh, no! 
Why am I even showing this battle? I just showed. This is like the third battle with Imakuni I've shown in a row. Oh, who's doing that? Slowbro? God damn it, Slowbro. And there goes Jinx. What do you know? Imakuni's winning. Um, winning. But not for long because Mewtwo has to kick. That's gonna do a good 40 damage. Yeah, kick your ass. Kick your ass, man. I kick your dirty little ass. Did he send out a bar fetched? Bar fetched! You don't have enough to do Leak Slap, do you? He does. That only costs one energy. I mean, yeah, you can only use it once and it might fail, but shit. It's dangerous, man. Uh, That's not really going to do good on anybody. Whatever, I'll just do Psychic. I don't even care. Just sick of this music, oh my god, so... Hey, it's the Makuni car. That's the last card we're going for. I'll tell you one card that was really hard to get. What card was it? The Nitto Queen card. You wouldn't think it would be hard to get. Um, but yeah, I could not get that card to show up in the booster pack. It was the last one I needed in Evolution for the longest time. And oh my god, I had to do so many people for it. It was ser too seriously traumatic. That's probably the most... That's probably why I'm more like in this episode. Oh my god, I need this fucking LP to end or I'm gonna hate my life forever. Because I'm so sick of grinding. That's probably the thing that's going on in my mind mostly. Alright, um, although switching him out will get rid of his confusion, I want to kill this Slowbro because the strange behavior is pissing me off and the fact that he has my weakness pisses me off, so let's get him out of here. See you later. It's another Mewtwo. -na 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 -na. It's a Slowpoke. He's got psychic abilities in this one, so you know what? Yeah, let's get this bitch back in here. Uh, I don't even care. I'm not even really trying. This guy is just dead. He's so fucking dead. Alright, now throw out your last Pokemon. It's Transparency Hunter. I did get more Transparency Hunters through the booster pack, so I could modify my Psychic Paunch deck right now, but I'm going to use Mysterious Pwn came on for the rest. Uh, for the last battle especially, because it's OP as shit. So, yeah. Alright, this should do 40 damage. Almost enough. He might kill me, actually, depending on if Slowpoke can get an attack off or not. Nope. No, 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 you can't even do the one thing you were trying to do, which probably wouldn't have done anything. You know what, screw this, goodbye. Game over. Or no, wait, he still has another Pokemon on the bench, I didn't see that. Drowsy, huh? Uh-oh. Pound! Well, that's okay, because I'm going to do 60 damage to you right now. You 2 is pretty OP at some certain points, I will admit. Am I using the Psychic Paunch deck right now? Did I load the wrong save state? Well, there's the Imakuni card. Oh, okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. For some reason, I was just, you know, I've been to try and get Imakuni to show up and messing with save states and also writing in the diary. So I guess they got intertwined and I messed up and was using my Psychic Punch deck instead of the Pwn Kimon. But anyway, we got it back now. Anyway, now that we have all uh, 228 cards in the diary, I've checked specifically on what you can do once you have that. And uh, the only thing it activates is Ronald showing up at uh, certain challenge cups. If you, um, he'll show up as an opponent in the challenge cups, but he doesn't have anything special. He'll just have um, one of the decks he has now in the end game. All right, guys, welcome to the final leg of this LP. So as you can see, I am in the challenge cup, and as you know, Ronald appears here randomly once you collect all the cards. Uh, as you saw, I went to even go try and fight him in Ishihara's house, and he'll never fight you. He'll say he's building a deck, and he won't duel you. The only time he'll duel you is he'll appear randomly at the challenge cup once he's readied his deck. And um, he can appear randomly as the first, second, or third challenger. And as you see here, there he is right there. So he's going to be the first challenger in this challenge cup. So, uh, let's do it. After I beat him, I'm not even going to show the rest of the Challenge Cup because the rest of the people are going to be scrubs. But I will fight Ronald, so let's do it. And, of course, she's going to glitch out and say Scope is still a contender when she means Ronald, and Scope is the new challenger. 
Alright, so he's going to be using the Invincible Rommel deck, uh, which is pretty scrub but um, what are you going to do? So we shouldn't have much trouble with him here. Uh, what am I going to go for first? How many Grass Energies do I have? Just one. Okay, I'll start with Abra, go with Bulby, and Bulby. And how does he, many people he got on the bench too? Okay. This might be dangerous with only two prizes, but I think we'll be okay. It's a Mew! Yeah, Mew half Pokemon power, okay. Oh great, he's got Kangaskhan who resists my shit so hard. Ah, damn it. Fucking Kangaskhan, dude. Hate that guy. Energy removal, great. Well guess what, I don't even care about Abra anyway. Oh, and he's got a Scyther, so I think his decks are a bit more modified than before, if I am correct. They're definitely different, um, because I don't... Oh, yeah, he's got a Chansey? Holy shit. Oh, well, now I can draw him out if I need to. Well, good thing we're not using the Psychic Paunch deck anymore, because a Chansey and a Kangaskhan, I'd already be pretty screwed. So what is he going to do? Ooh, my Mr. Mime. Well, since I don't have my other energy for Bulbasaur yet, I guess I can just start getting him ready. He's good, but um, he can't do damage to these guys, so at least not this guy in particular. Scyther I could do damage to. Yeah, do your draw card thing. You're just going to draw yourself silly, man. Alakazam! Doesn't do me any good. Get Mr. Mime fully ready to go. I need a grass energy. That is desperately what I really need. Um, and preferably an Ivysaur at some point, actually, too, but preferably the Grass Energy first. There we go. Alright, Bulbasaur is ready to go. Um, let's see, what does Kangaskhan take? Comet Punch. Yeah, I gotta start doing damage on this guy before... before he gets going too well. And, uh, hopefully I can just get an Ivysaur, cor Ivysaur cor card here sometime soon. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, yeah, he's almost got enough for Comet Punch. Not good. And that will probably kill me. In one hit. I won't even have time to heal it back with Leech Seed, so... Uh, oh, God. Flip four coins. Okay, I need at least three tails. Please. Okay, that's one. Two. Three! Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Whew. That was close. That was close. Eh, a little too late for that, but hey. I will take it. Um, I kind of want to get this other Bulbasaur going just in case here. And this should heal me. Uh, only 10 HP, yeah, because it heals half, so that's good. Um, but now he's going to use Comet Punch again, and I will still need three tails, which I doubt will happen this time. There's no way. No way in hell. Are you kidding me? No freaking way. I'll take it. I will take it. But next turn, if he even gets one, I'm dead, So and uh, he's not close to dead, so that's not good. Um, next turn, he'd have to get all four tails, otherwise I'm dead. And that will not happen. That I'm 100% sure of, so... That's pretty much it for Bulbasaur. Didn't get my Ivysaur card like I'd hoped, but what are you gonna do? And there it is. Bye-bye, Bulbasaur. You tried, man. I can't even do any dam- Well, oh, no, no, no. Okay, he resists, but meditate with uh, Mr. Mime, since that Kangaskhan has so much damage on him now. Will be really good. But then he's just gonna send in Chansey, and it's like, what are you doing? But I don't think that chance he can do very much damage to me. Um, uh, who do I want to put energies on here? Bulbasaur, I don't even... So this will do a shit ton of damage. He'll resist it, but it'll still do a shit ton. 60, even with resistance, so it would have done 90. So yeah. Psychic energy? Mm. Would have preferred something better, but... What is Chansey planning? Okay, she's doing Scrunch now. Not that it matters, but I think she, I think he's charging up for, what is it, Double Edge or whatever that attack it is it has that's crazy. Crazy, sorry, excuse me. Uh, might as well get Abra going here, because then I can at least get Alakazam going. But yeah, Meditate's not going to do nothing right now, so there's no point. 
new point. Uh, he's gonna get Geodude's Stone Barrage ready. He's just got a lot of stuff going. The only problem is he made a fatal error in using a Professor Oak and a Bill, because now all I have to do is wait him out. Alright, so Bulbasaur can do Leech Seed here. I'm not gonna retreat into him yet, because she used Scrunch. So I might do that next turn. Uh, and then as soon as I get two Leech Seeds off under the Mr. Mime can do the rest if he wanted to, but I'll probably just keep Bulbasaur in there, because I doubt he'll put more energies on Chansey. Okay! Fucking, ah. second you say that. Oh, come on. Why aren't you using Double Edge? Probably because it hits you with recoil damage. Okay, cool, cool. Now I can have Bulbasaur... God, if I could just get Ivysaur right about now, that would be absolutely perfect. That would be perfection. Because I'm sure, I think double it. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, use double edge. Go ahead. So you're going to do 80 damage to yourself, dumbass. And now my Mr. Mime will absolutely obliterate you. You are the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen. Scyther! Finally a Pokemon that's... Got something going for it. Alright, and this will do um, 90 damage. You'll resist 30. It'll do 60. You're still dead. You're so dumb. Like, how dumb can you be? Yeah, you got a prize, but I just got rid of one of your most dangerous Pokemon. And now my Bulbasaur is ready for an Ivysaur. Or Venusaur. Uh, yeah, that could be dangerous. Ha! Or not. Failure, failure city! Plus, if you get more than three heads, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, grass energy. We'll be swords ready. What's Geodude's weakness? Whoops. Grass? Oh, hell yeah. See ya! Come in, Bulby. Whoops. Ah! Right, that's 40 damage to you, son. Uh. Alright, what are you gonna do? Retreat. Ooh. Good call. Oh, I'll use Bill. I've got enough to spare. Oh, I got a Scyther. Um, okay, I think what I'm going to do is put a thing on Mr. Mime, and I'm going to retreat. It only costs one. I'll get rid of that Psychic that I don't need and retreat to Mr. Mime, because now you have Slash and you can't hurt me. So, And I'll just meditate you to death if I have to. What do you weak do? Fire or... Okay, yeah, fire. Let me guess now, you're going to retreat back to Geodude. No, you're going to use Bill and even less into your car account. Well, that's not smart. Swords dance. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to do zero damage times two. Still zero, bitch. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get the Scyther going, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, and now that's 20 damage. Next turn it'll be 30. Add it on to the 20, or add it on to the 30, which will be... 60 and puts you very close to death. Ooh, nice call. Nice call. You gonna retreat? No? Just gonna keep using Swords Dance like a nincompoop, huh? Well... Oh no, wait, that'll do 40 damage added on to the 30, so you're dead. Oh yeah, baby. And now your Geodude is very close to dead. With one Meditate, it will not be dead. I thought he had damage on him already. Okay, well, you better just hope your Stone Barrage helps you, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, at least you got some damage off on Mr. Mime, and that is saying something. So Mr. Mime is quite difficult to damage. But you know what? Let's try to speed this up. I'm going to throw Bulbasaur in here. And even though he's almost dead, Leech Seed will heal him 20 damage here because 40 damage weakness, so... What? Oh, it's before apply applying weaknesses. Okay, well, you still got to get two heads to kill me. I'm revolved into Muck. Oh, you bitch! Stop it! Just stop it! Oh, hey, finally, look, an Ivysaur. Perfect. And I wish I could do Venusaur this turn, too, but I can't. Um. Uh, might as well poison him, yeah, it's totally worth it. He doesn't, unless he has a double colorless, he doesn't have enough to blow off the 60 damage swords dance next turn. This might force him to retreat, too. Nope, he's gonna use swords dance. Okay, he's officially dead. 
because now I can use Vine Whip and kill him. But why do that when I can bring out Venusaur? And just like Charizard started off this LP with Obliterate, Venusaur! Obliterate! Ha! And that, folks, is the Challenge Cup Ronald, which is arguably the hardest Ronald in the game besides the Grandmaster one. And that's it. We won the duel with Ronald. And that's it, folks. That is it. There is nothing else in the game to show um, other than this. I mean, you can fight the Grandmasters again. They'll all have the same decks. There's nothing else different. So that's it, folks. Um, all you can really hope to do after you complete the card album is fight Ronald in the Challenge Cup, but there's no point because you've already got all the cards, so that's it. Um, anyways, that's it for this LP. Now maybe I can focus more on Final Fantasy and Pokemon White, which will be good for me, so hopefully I'll be more active. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. So I will see you guys next time on my other LPs, but as for now, this is it for Pokemon the Trading Card Game. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little weird spin-off of, you know the traditional Pokemon game, but if you enjoy card games like I do, like Yu-Gi-Oh, which I know a lot of you do, um, this one's fun, and it's simple, it's great, Pokemon training card game never really hit it too big here in, uh, I mean, you know, as compared to Yu-Gi-Oh, which definitely did, but it's still a really good game, and I like it, so, um, that was it, I enjoyed the LP, I hope you guys did too, and, uh, I'll see you in the next ones, so, this is Scope signing out, goodbye.